malware stands for malicious software. And no, it's not your ex, though it does mess with your life in suspicious ways. It's the umbrella term for any software harming or exploiting your computer. People often say virus when they mean malware, but technically a virus is just one flavor of malware on the all-you-can-eat hacker buffet. Don't worry though, even cybersecurity companies call their software antivirus instead of anti-malware, probably because anti-malware sounds like a tongue twister. Computer viruses are basically the clingy friend of malware. It attaches itself to your files and spreads when you run them, kind of like glitter. Once it's on one thing, it's suddenly everywhere. Viruses usually need your help, like clicking a sketchy email attachment with the subject line, congratulations, you want a free iPhone 12. Sure, some viruses just annoy you, but others like the I love you virus spread like wildfire, wiping out files and spamming your friends. Nothing says romance like accidentally sending malware to your entire contact list. Virus hoax is the digital version of yelling fire in a crowded theater when there isn't one. They don't cause real harm, but they trick you into panicking. Tech scammers love these. Your PC is infected. Call us now. And some poor soul pays them $300 so they can fix a problem that doesn't exist. Imagine paying someone to remove a ghost from your Wi-Fi router. Worm virus is that annoying kid in school who spreads rumors without anyone asking. Unlike viruses, worms don't need your help. They just slither across networks all by themselves. They can sneak into a USB drive or a system vulnerability spreading faster than memes on Twitter. Bonus, they slow down your internet, so now you're stuck buffering while they steal your data. Ransomware. Ransomware is the digital kidnapper. It locks up your files and demands money to give them back. It's like your data has been taken hostage and the ransom note reads, send Bitcoin or say goodbye to your cat pictures. Hospitals, banks, and even small businesses are favorite targets because hackers know they'll pay. You don't mess with someone's patient records or grandma's wedding photos. Trojan virus. Ah yes, the Trojan, the malware equivalent of showing up disguised as free pizza. It pretends to be something you want, like a cracked game, but once you download it, Boom, it's stealing your bank details. Remember, if a free game from a shady site looks too good to be true, it probably comes with the free side of hacking. Rat malware. A remote access trojan is what hackers use when they want to basically live rent-free inside your computer. They can see your screen, steal files, turn on your webcam, even move your mouse. Imagine browsing late at night and suddenly your cursor moves on its own. No, it's not a ghost. It's a hacker laughing somewhere. Creepy, right? Cryptojackers. Cryptojackers are freeloaders. They sneak into your PC and use your processing power to mine cryptocurrency. So while you're trying to play a simple game of Minecraft, your fan sounds like it's preparing for takeoff. Your electricity bill spikes. Your computer melts. And somewhere, a hacker is getting rich while you're just trying to watch cat videos. Keyloggers. Keyloggers are basically digital stalkers for your keyboard. They record everything you type. Passwords, credit cards, awkward late night Google searches, you name it. It's like having a nosy neighbor who reads over your shoulder every time you type. Logic Bomb. A logic bomb is malware that just sits around waiting for the right moment to ruin your day. It could be triggered by a date, like your birthday, happy birthday. Also, I deleted all your files. Often planted by angry employees, it's like office revenge in digital form. Malvertising. Malvertising is when malware dresses up as an ad. Picture a big flashy banner screaming, Your PC is infected! Click here to save it! And you, in a moment of panic, click! Only to download even more malware. It's basically clickbait that bites back. Wiper virus. Wipers are the nuclear option. They don't steal your files, they just destroy everything. Imagine waking up, turning on your computer, and poof, your bank's records, gone. Wipers don't play. They go straight for the jugular. Adware. Adware is malware that spams you with pop-ups until you want to throw your computer out the window. Not always dangerous, but definitely annoying. It's like that one friend who won't stop sending you Candy Crush requests. Spyware. Spyware just hangs out quietly, watching your every move like an overprotective parent. It doesn't always control your PC like a rat, but it is keeping receipts on everything you do and then selling them. Ram Scrapers. 
RAM scrapers are after your temporary data, like credit card info during transactions. They live in point-of-sale systems, basically mugging your card details before they're even properly stored. It's like a pickpocket hanging out near the cash register. Rootkits are like ninjas, stealthy, silent, and nearly impossible to find. They bury themselves so deep in your operating system that sometimes the only way to remove them is to nuke your PC with a fresh install, basically the malware equivalent of burn it all down and start over. Backdoor malware. A backdoor is exactly what it sounds like, a secret way into your computer that skips past passwords. Hackers sneak one in and suddenly they're in your system like an unwanted roommate. Botnet. A botnet is when a hacker controls thousands of computers at once, usually without the owners even realizing. Imagine your laptop secretly joining a zombie army just to take down Amazon for fun. And you thought leaving Chrome open with 47 tabs was bad. Fileless malware. Fileless malware doesn't bother leaving a trail on your hard drive. It runs in RAM and vanishes after reboot. It's basically the James Bond of malware. In and out, no fingerprints left behind. Malicious macro. Macros were supposed to make Word and Excel easier, but hackers turn them evil. They hide malware and documents and send them as fake invoices or reports. Once you open it and allow macros, it's like saying, sure, stranger, come in and take my wallet. How to avoid getting infected by malware. All right, so now that we've been through this malware horror show, you're probably thinking, great, but how do I avoid becoming the main character in the next cyber attack drama? Don't worry, here are some simple precautions. One, don't click suspicious links. If an email says, claim your free iPhone, the only thing you'll claim is malware. Two, download software only from trusted sources. That cracked game from a shading website? Yeah, that's not free. It's just a Trojan horse in cosplay. 3. Keep your system and software updated. Updates may feel annoying, but they're basically bug spray for your computer. Skip them, and you're leaving the door open for worms. 4. Use strong, unique passwords. 123456 isn't a password. It's a hacker's welcome mat. 5. Enable two-factor authentication, or 2FA. That way, even if hackers steal your password, they still can't get in without your phone. 6. Don't fall for pop-up ads. If a banner screams, your PC is infected, congratulations, you've just spotted a wild malvertising trap. 7. Use antivirus or anti-malware software. Yes, even though it's not perfect, it's like having a digital security guard. Better to have one than not have any. 8. Back up your files regularly. If ransomware locks your data, you can laugh and say, nice try, I've got a backup. At the end of the day, common sense is your best antivirus. If something looks sketchy, it probably is. Remember, stay updated, stay cautious, and don't download sketchy free stuff unless you want your computer to become the villain in its own movie.